Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfatih. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Azhana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure in the victory of Paris FC team under the theme Victorious Bahrain against Amiens 2 4 in the Coupe de France League 2. He noted that the team is on the right path towards achieving further positive results that reflect the team's development. Azhana Sheikh Nasser stated that Bahrain's name in the Coupe de France promotes it in Europe in light of the keenness to participate in grand international sports events which reflect positively on the touristic and economic aspects of the country. His Highness affirmed that the team is giving a remarkable performance which contributes to achieving positive results. He wished the team further success in the upcoming matches. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh. The council approved the recommendation of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee on a draft law ratifying the main system of the Labour Centre for the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The council also approved the recommendation of the Youth Affairs Committee on a draft law regarding sports professionalism. A proposal on amending item A of Article 99 of the Labour Law for the private sector was also so approved. The Southern Governor Azhana Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa chaired the first meeting of the Security Committee for this year held remotely in the presence of a number of officers representing various security directorates at the Ministry of Interior. During the meeting, Azhana followed up on the efforts of the Security Committee to continue implementing the necessary precautionary measures to limit the spread of the coronavirus and reviewed the government's efforts to reducing the number of workers in their areas of residence and monitor and correct the conditions of the 40 residential areas. The Zionists called to intensify security awareness and stress the importance of wearing masks, limiting gatherings and applying social distancing in cooperation with various parties to ensure that all preventive requirements are applied to ensure the safety of all. Survey and Land Registration Bureau, the SLRB President and Board of Directors, Chairman of the Real Estate Regularity Authority, Rera, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said that the volume of real estate trading had amounted to 717 million Bahraini dinars and 436,872 in 2020, compared to BD 8.808 million, 934,154 in 2019 marking a decrease of 11%. However, SLRB president said the sector bounced back during the second half of 2020, increasing by about 14,020% in the third and fourth quarters, respectively. Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah indicated that the results could be considered positive given the exceptional circumstances created by the spread of the novel coronavirus pandemic and its economic impact. He added that the positive results attained in the second half were the fruitful outcome of the measures taken by the government to support the economic activities in general and the real estate sector in particular, noting that the government has been keen to strike a balance between enforcing precautionary measures to prevent the spread of the pandemic and providing the appropriate environment to ensure the continuity of vital economic sectors which contributed to their relative stability. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, stressed the importance of enhancing training in vital sectors that attract citizens and constitute an added value to the national economy, especially the financial and banking sector. He said that the financial and banking sector is witnessing continuous growth in Bahrain, which requires the availability of qualified national professional manpower to fill job opportunities in the various disciplines it provides. The Minister was speaking during the signing of a three-month extension of the Memorandum of Understanding signed between the Labour and Social Development Ministry and the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance, BIBF, to train job seekers remotely. Central Bank of Bahrain Governor Rashid Mohamed Al Maraj, BIBF Director General Dr. Ahmed Abdul Ghani Sheikh and officials from both sides were present. 
As part of preparations to transfer operations to Bahrain International Airport's new passenger terminal on January the 28th, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and the Chairman of Bahrain Airport Company, BAC, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, visited the site to assess the readiness of staff and key facilities. The Minister commended the staff on their high level of preparedness and expressed his confidence in the Bahraini teams responsible for the management and operation of the facilities which operate around the clock. He noted the high standards of construction of the Engineering Control Center, the Airport Operations Center, the Network Operations Center and the Baggage Operations Center and the Fire Command Center. The minister affirmed that with its highly skilled local workforce and distinctly Bahraini character, the new passenger terminal will spotlight the kingdom's advancements in aviation on a global scale. He praised the steps made by BAC in developing the skills and capabilities of Bahrainis and preparing them for leadership positions in the aviation industry, which are among the most important objectives of the AMP. The Bahrain Human Rights Watch Society has filed an urgent complaint to the International Human Rights Monitor against Qatar for endangering the lives of eight Asian sailors from Bahrain due to the coronavirus. The complaint confirmed that the eight sailors working for Bahraini fishermen in the Bahraini territorial waters were arrested and imprisoned without any legal guarantees for them. The General Secretary of the Society, Faisal Fulad, said that the deterioration of the conditions of Asian workers in Qatar is one of the pending and very important issues, stressing that most of the sailors working on Bahraini ships are Asians and that many of them have suffered a lot during the last 15 years due to Qatari violations. He added that Qatar joined the international agreement regarding their respect and commitment to the rights of expatriate workers, but no commitment is demonstrated. The Kingdom of Bahrain participates in the United Nations celebrations of the International Day of Education with its honorable achievements in providing education for all. In light of the exceptional circumstances imposed by the coronavirus pandemic, Bahrain affirmed its ability to sustain educational services for all and its pioneership in digital education. Bahrain has made tremendous efforts to continue education since the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic in the second semester of the last academic year. In line with the conditions imposed by the pandemic, educational services provided to students in Bahrain have expanded at all levels where the Ministry of Education succeeded in providing governmental educational service to approximately 150,000 students. The Ministry of Education cooperated with the Ministry of Information to film televised classes. These honorable results are reflected in Bahrain winning the His Highness Sheikh Salim and Ali El Sabah Informatics Award for the education educational portal project. The National Employment Programme in its second version, which was launched by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, aims to create 25,000 jobs during the current year and provide 10,000 training opportunities annually in order to achieve the desired aspirations. The programme is based on initiatives that contribute to enhancing joint national efforts to make the Bahraini citizen the first choice for employment in private companies and institutions within a framework of fair competition that is in the interest of the Bahraini citizen in the first place and developing the work environment in a way that serves the stability and growth of the labor market, which is considered the main aspect of economic growth in Bahrain. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,977 with 210 recoveries, 246 registered new cases and one death. 130 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 107 are contacts of active cases and 9 are travel related. The deceased was a 97-year-old citizen. The Ministry expressed its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combat. Combating the coronavirus.